Welcome to Notes for Engineers. I'm Alistair Cook, and today we're going to look at virtual disk provisioning, particularly at eager and lazy zeroing. We're going to have a look at what disk zeroing is, why we do it, what lazy zeroing is, and then what eager zeroing is, and to understand the difference between those two. We'll then think about why you should use eager or lazy zeroing, and then think about the related technology, which is thin provisioning and its impacts on zeroing of disks. So first off, what is zeroing? Zeroing is where we've taken a piece of storage from our array, we've created a virtual machine disk file on it, but we don't know what actually resides underneath this file we've, we've created. The zeroing involves taking all of that latent underlying data that may be there. We don't know what's happened to these disks before, maybe they used to have data on them. What we do is before the virtual machine writes to the disk, we first write zeros over that latent data and we get the, the disk into a known good state. So we, we write zeros to it. Sometimes we just write a little bit of zeros, sometimes we write a lot of zeros. Once the zeros are in place, we can start writing data from the virtual machine actually into the disk. So zeroing involves a write to the blocks of disk and it writes known data so we know it's nice and clean and ready to receive real data out of our virtual machines. And that's what zeroing is, it's fairly simple. Why do we do it? Well, security. We zero the data that was latent on the disk before the virtual machine gets access to it. So before the VM can read or write the block that came to us from the storage array, we make sure that the, the data underneath is clean and that's what the zeroing is all about. It's there to scrub the, the latent data. It doesn't allow a read of the disk before we've written that zero. Really important to understand that it's only done for the first time that we write to a disk block. It's not done every time we write to a disk block. And so writing to a disk block that's not currently zero, there's a performance impact because we've got a zero at first and then write data to it. And that's what we do with lazy zeroing. When we create the virtual machine disk file, we just allocate the blocks to it. We don't touch those blocks at creation time. And this means that creating the disk is really fast because we've just got to say this collection of blocks on the uh, underlying data store, they make up an actual disk. So disk creation is very fast and you as the administrator can get on with your piece of work after that. You can move on to maybe starting the install of the operating system or whatever else you've got to do. The zeroing then happens when the virtual machine first writes to the disk. So because with lazy zeroing we didn't do the zero up front, we have to do the zero on access. This means that a virtual machine with lazy zero disk is going to find it slower to write into space that it's never written to before compared to writing to overwriting a piece of data it's already got. And so the first write to a block of data is slow because there's a zero first and then a data write, but overwrites just have that, that data overwrite. There's no delay for the zeroing. Kind of gets you the feeling of why lazy zeroing might be good and, and bad at the same time. It's very quick for us, but it can have some impact on the virtual machine's performance. Consequently, there is an option for eager zeroing. With eager zeroing, when you create the VMDK file, all of the zeros are written to it as it's created. So you can imagine that if you created a 400 gigabyte VMDK file, we've got to write 400 gigabytes of zeros to that VMDK file when the VMDK file is created. So when you click that create virtual machine or when you click finish on the add disk to virtual machine wizard, that's when all the zeroing happens. And so lots of data gets written to the disk at that point. When the virtual machine actually starts using the disk, the zeros are already done. And so there's no performance difference with eager zero disks where you're writing over blocks that you've never written to before versus overwriting blocks that you've previously put data in. So there's no performance impact around writing into new space. When should I use which? The default is lazy zero. To get your job, create the virtual machine, add the disk, done very quickly. Lazy zeroing also doesn't have an impact on the back-end storage run. You should use lazy zeroing when you've got a storage array that does thin provisioning. When we eager zero, we write to every block in the disk. And for most storage arrays that are thin provisioned, that means they have to allocate backing blocks for all of those disk blocks that we've just zeroed. The storage array is thin provisioned. It doesn't really want to do that. It wants to allocate backing blocks only when there's data inside the virtual machine. And so eager zeroing can be problematic for thin provisioned storage arrays. Not all of them. Some of them can actually detect those zeros being written and they don't back the zeros. But then of course, eager zeroing is not helping you. You might as well be lazy zeroed if you're waiting for the zeros to happen later. Eager zero disks are typically for your critical virtual machines where the disk performance in operation is really important, where that penalty on writing into empty space is unacceptable. If you think about something like a database server that has a logs volume, there's a whole heap of sequential writes that go out into the log volume because of the, the way logs work, writing out into empty space all of the time. 
if we're doubling the I.O., we're getting half the performance of the underlying disk system for those writes into empty space, that could be an impact for our database server. Could also be an impact for the data volume of our database server as it's ingesting a lot of data because it's, it's got to grow its database file and therefore write into new blocks. So for very critical virtual machines, we tend to eager zero the disks to avoid those performance penalties. It's really important to understand it's only on a write to new space. There's no zeroing impact on reads and there's no zeroing impact on overwrite. So you've got to think about VMs that are going to write out into free space. And of course that are really critical and you're prepared to take that performance hit up front, that delay. How about thin provisioning? How does thin provisioning play with the performance impacts of eager versus lazy zeroing? The fundamental thing is that thin provision disks have to be lazy zeroed. By definition, you can't zero a thin provision disk because that involves writing to every block and that would make it no longer thin provisioned. It would actually inflate it out to maximum size. So then the question is, is thin provisioning going to give me a performance problem compared to a lazy zero disk? And the reality is it's not. The amount of disk access that's required in order to make the thin provision VMDK file larger is very small compared to the amount of disk activity that's required to write all the zeros through that disk. And so this, the performance studies all tell us that thin provision disks and lazy zero disks perform the same. There is an impact if you're writing to blocks that you've never written to before because the thin provision disk has to grow and then be zeroed. Right? With a lazy zero thick provision disk, the grow is not there, but the grow is tiny. So thin provisioning, inherently lazy zero, and has the same performance characteristics as a thick provision lazy zero disk. So lazy versus eager zeroing of your disks. Disks are zeroed for security to get rid of any latent data that was underneath them. It does touch every block on the disk when we zero it. Now VAI absolutely helps us there that the storage array can do it rather than us having to transfer all of those zeros from the ESX server across the storage network to the storage array. But we do still have to touch every block on the disk. Eager means that we do this zeroing at the creation of the virtual machine disk. Whereas lazy means that it happens later, it happens on the first writes. Default is lazy. If you don't know what you're doing, stick with lazy. If you don't have a strong reason to change from the default, stick with this default. This has been Notes for Engineers. I'm Alistair Cook. You can find more Notes for Engineers at notesforengineers.com or follow along on Twitter at N for Engineers. You can find me as Demitas NZ. I live in New Zealand. Demitas.co.nz for my blog.